Hi everyone. You guys remember this solar pool heater I made about a year ago? Yep, it's still here working. And uh, the only problem is it is still running on the return of my pool filter. So today I wanna make another one that's gonna run not on the return and also powerless. It'll be totally powerless, meaning I'm not gonna use any electricity. So just hear me out. In a couple of seconds, I'm gonna turn you guys around and I'm gonna show you what I mean by powerless or electricityless. Um, so check it out. So guys, I actually built another one here. So on top of that heater right there, I actually built another one here, but I'm actually gonna wanna put it on top of the roof, two panels on top of the roof. Now, when I'm talking about powerless, what I mean is, so I'm gonna put two heaters up there on the roof and I'm gonna siphon water from this tank that is elevated from the pool. So what it does is it's gonna draw water up and heat and it's gonna come down and hopefully the gravity is gonna pull the water into the pool without you using any electricity. I don't know if that's gonna work. I hope it does so that way I don't even have to uh, hook it up to any power. Also, um, because I'm siphoning water from the tank up here, I won't have to make any extra connection on the return that's gonna pump it up. I do, however, have to connect it to the pump, a power pump, a separate power pump, or a water pump, just to get you know, enough water to go up into the coils and for it to come down. So I may have to do that initially, but other than that, I hope this setup works. the next day so I got some good news it actually worked and I'm so excited to show you guys so I'm gonna flip the phone around real quick so you guys can take a look um, totally powerless uh, totally electricity -less. it's just working on the uh, loss of gravity I guess and I didn't think it was gonna work because a couple of things and I'm gonna point that out so I temporarily placed the heater up there and this is the line that's coming down Basically, that draws the water. I just have to tie it so it stay in place. And it's kind of all cored up. I'll clean it up, but um, that's the end. That's where it's siphoning the water up. And it goes up. I didn't think it was gonna work. It's so high up. And then into the coil, and it comes down via that line. And also, it's very long. I'm gonna have to clean that up also. And I'll show you guys here real quick it goes up and it is flowing it's not too strong but I think if I clean up some of these uh, uh, longer hoses that's hanging that might increase the flow a little bit uh, it looks like it kind of slow it's kind of slow here but it actually is flowing pretty good See? So that is the flow, not using any electricity at all. Um, granted, I do have to, you know, use my pump to, to get water up to this tank, but this water heater here is totally, totally 100% emission free, carbon free. I didn't even think it was gonna work. So, a um, couple of things I found that was a problem. So, uh, remember I told you guys how 
I have to at least get the water flowing. So I have to have a pump. We have a water pump to at least initially get the water pumping and get it going first before it can go ahead and siphon and use gravity. Um, so I put a uh, elect electricity pump here, but this pump is just wasn't strong enough. It wasn't strong enough at all. So I couldn't get any water up there. So what I did, because I have two of the water heater already feeding from the pool filter there, I just undid one of them and hook up temporarily the new one. So it has enough power to drive water up to the roof, to that panel up there. And once I have water up there, then all I had to do was take it off, uh, take it off from here and run really quickly and put it into the uh, tank right here. And it worked guys, and it is still running. I'm gonna show you guys one continuous shot so that way you don't think I'm cheating. That's the line. Here, here, here. and it's feeding from that solar heater up there and it's drawing water from my stock tank that is elevated off the ground. Um, like I said, I just need to clean up a whole bunch of these slack. I'm gonna put two up there. So since this line is much longer, I'm gonna use this one for the back and I'll, I'll put another panel up here on this side. So, yay, it worked. 100% worked so good. All right, more to come. So if you guys want to copy this setup, I actually have a video about this uh, stock tank uh, waterfall that you guys can check out. I'll put a link in the description just so you guys can check that out and uh, do the same setup. Also guys, one of the reason why I temporarily just did this setup was because I didn't know if this was gonna work or not. So I didn't want to put the uh, mounts on my rooftop. So now that I do know that it works, so I'll go ahead and uh, mount a uh, two by six um, by 10 wood plank over it so it could hold a two pallet solar heater. Here's my zero electricity solar heater. Two of them and I'll show you it's one continuous run this is the inlet the one that's coming back to the pool I got it wired up across and it's actually coming from the top of those two pallets the one on the bottom those that's the two inlet that's the one uh, outlet that's the one that's drawn the water out from this tank that I have here the waterfall tank I turn off the waterfall so you guys don't hear the sound, uh, but you can hear the sound coming from the uh, from the filter. So it is drawing power up into the pallets, getting the heat up, and then coming off from the top back down and back into the pool. And I'll show you, it's one continuous run. This is how it's getting, siphoning the water right there, up, get a closer look here, and that is the, these are the ends coming into the coil, and these are coming back out, back to the pool, down, and into the pool. So, if you choose to run it, no power, like I do, um, but I find it kind of slow. So if I, if I start to need it to go faster, I can. I built an adapter right here. This piece here goes up into the back of my um, waterfall. So I just made an additional piece. I have the uh, control valve right here 
so I can control when I want it on and off. And I have the two, the two plugs here. So I have this fit into the two solar heater if I want it to run off the pump. But for the most part, slow is better. Get seat a little bit more. So I just have it right here running like that. I have to prop it up so you guys can see. Normally I'll have this down in the water. So you probably don't even see it. So this is the finished result. Let me explain. There are the two Sully heaters on top, which is fed by this here. This is the feed going up into the coils up and over the top comes down up over and into the pool so i could run the feed two different ways i have the i have it hooked up to two of these uh outlets here if i need to increase the flow uh, or I could take them apart and just leave it in here. So overall, this was a really fun project. We like our pools very warm, so that's why I added a couple more pool heaters in case you were wondering. I really love the fact that I can run the heater without having to use any electricity at all if I choose to. And I can also hook it up to the return if I need to increase the flow. Let me know in the comment what do you guys think about this install. What do you think I can do to improve this design. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more future videos like this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next time.